Welcome back in to the Tiger Post Game Report brought to you by Keltner Contracting as Campbells will win tonight 28-14 to home opener and season opener over the Pikeville Bears. Coach, right up top, congratulations. Thank you. It was a great win for our guys. Uh, it's been a long time since we got that first victory of the year, and it sure makes it start off a lot better when you get that. I thought our guys played hard. Uh, we were a little nervous coming into the game because we had some depleted forces with some guys out. Uh, but our guys stepped up and played really well on both sides of the ball, though. I thought maybe a turning point in this game might have been a three and out to start the second half. Yeah, that was huge for us. You know, they I thought when they got the big pick right before half that they would take a shot. Uh, we obviously, we were hoping to score to put some cushion in there because we knew they got the ball first. And that first half, uh, second half series, that first series is always a big one. For us to get off the field in three downs, then that kind of kept the momentum on our side and kept our confidence up. <clears throat> okay, your team tonight uh, came out and appeared to dominate in that first half. A couple of turnovers stalled some things out for you. Otherwise, it might not have been quite that close in the first half, I thought. Yeah, I agree. I mean, we were standing down there, and I was telling the offensive coaches that it seems like we're dominating the game against a very good football team. But it seemed like we was dominating the game by looking at the scoreboard, and it was 7-7. to seven. Uh, So that was a little frustrating. But, you know, game one, game two, you get those some. We had some, uh, you know, missed field goal. We had a drop touchdown pass. We we missed a, a second, I mean, a fourth and one. Uh, we formed the ball going in on the first drive. So you get those things. You just hopefully – fix them up and uh, come back strong. The great thing about tonight, though, was because our defense was so steady that um, the offensive miscues didn't kill us. You know, last year we had to score every time we touched the ball or we was in trouble. And tonight, you know, we was able to get our points, but we didn't have to score every time. And that, that makes it an easier game for the coaches to call. Campbells will win tonight 28-14. to There were several three and outs for your defense, but no three and outs for your offense. Yeah, and that's awesome. You know, that means that not only do we have chances to score, but we're also eating some clock. And, you know, our style, we're not going to just go out and run it. You know, where some people will run the ball, try to eat the clock. We're not good at that. We have to run the ball when uh, it's in the flow of our offense. So we're going to continue to take chances. But because we're not getting off the field in three and outs, then uh, we have opportunities to do things. And it rests the defense. I see you caught passes tonight. Uh, Zarek Willis, uh, Kenan Young, three touchdown passes. Uh, Jordan Duff with uh, some big catches. Yes. And a lot of catches out of the backfield. Chance Goodman and Wade Holsclaw with big catches tonight, too. Well, I mean, we, I tell people all the time, those two guys right there are huge for us because, uh, you know, people – use their running backs to run the ball, and with us, we can use them to catch those balls, and some of those are just check downs. So when you have an All-American quarterback, he can do those things. Uh, I like the fact, too, you know, Kendon had those three touchdowns, I think, and, and had a heck of a game, but I like the fact that a lot of people touch the ball in the receiver core. That means that uh, you, as a defense, you can't focus in on one or two guys. So it spreads the field. Hunter gets confidence in all those guys, and they were bringing a ton of people at us at times. So that, was, that's, that bodes well for the future, I think. Let's don't forget to tie in Cruz Coulter with a catch tonight. Yes. Uh, Coach J.T. Davis, uh, B.J. Pelt, some newcomers to your team in the secondary, played big tonight. Well, I mean, that's why we got them. You know, they, they're they two fine guys. I mean, I mean, they can play corner, and it gives the defense more confidence because they're going to get beat some. They're corners, uh, and it's going to happen. But for the most part, they're going to lock people down, and it gives you a chance to do some other things with your personnel uh, without having to always worry about giving up that big shot. Dyron Williams had uh, two tackles for loss and a sack in the first half. I'm not sure what he wound up with, but uh, what a first half. Yeah, Dyron played really well. I thought the defensive line as a whole, you know, and that's one of the places we were depleted some tonight. So they had those guys had to go in there. You know, when people talk about skill guys getting tired, but those D linemen and O linemen, you know, they're in those trenches banging on people every play, and they fought through it. I thought they all got after the quarterback pretty good and stopped the run, you know, other than that one big uh, play they had. Uh, the linebackers, two linebackers played the whole game, and uh, they'll get some relief next week when Hollis comes back. But uh, I thought the defense stepped up as a whole. We swarmed the ball well, and we was able to get off the field on a number of third and fourth downs. Final score tonight on opening night, 28-14. Campbell's at home winning over the Pikeville Bears. Coach, your offensive front was, was battling five, six, maybe seven defenders at times rushing in against Hunter Brown. Yeah, I mean, I, and it's, you know, sometimes they got through, but our checkoffs helped us a lot with that uh, So because, because they outnumbered us sometimes. And then, uh, you know, I thought our guys did a pretty good job of, of containing them what they could and moving the pile. What I love tonight, though, is we could run the ball too, you know, so we hit them on some traps inside, and that kept the, the pressure down a little bit. So when you're hitting those things, you can't just bring seven people at you all the time. Okay, Noah Bixter, a good night punting tonight. A tough night for your All-American kicker, Bradley Bates. Yeah, I mean, it's 
you know, the ebbs and flows of being a kicker. And uh, I'm sure he probably feels a little pressure because he was All-American and so forth. But, you know, we got to have those kicks. But we, we're confident that he's going to get it done. And, um, you know, we haven't lost confidence in Bradley. How big was the weather tonight? You, know, you talked to me a couple of weeks ago how, how difficult it's been with the, the lower humidity and cooler temperatures the last few weeks and not getting a lot of workouts in the heat, but uh, fairly pleasant tonight. Yeah, I mean, it was big for us tonight just because our forces were down. Um, you know, next week we know when we go down to uh, Valley, Alabama to play point that it's going to be hot probably. So, you know, hopefully we're going to get some heat this week and be ready for it. But I think, you know, we'll have some guys back next week and that'll help us a lot. A summer school session ends here in a day or so, yes. and uh, that'll that'll make a big difference getting some players ready to go. Yes, sir. That'll help a bunch, you know, providing they take care of their business. That'll help a bunch. So next week we'll have a number of guys that'll be back in the lineup, you know, three or four uh, guys, and that'll make a big difference with your depth and so forth. So now you can go in and you don't have to give guys, you know, all the reps in the game. Okay. Certainly seeing some players uh, taking some uh, bangs and bruises tonight. Uh, Mahari Sturgis uh, went out with him maybe with a hip injury and also looked like a Trey Webb had an injury late in the game. Yeah, and I'm not sure their status. You know, I think I talked to Mahari a little bit, and I, I would say he'd probably be ready to go sometime next week. Trey, I didn't get a chance to talk to him yet. How critical is it to get this opening night win heading into game two? It's, it's not happened since 2011. Well, I think it's big because, you know, over the last couple of years and even the two years we won the league, we were playing catch-up. You know, and in 14, we at one point we were 3-4, and four, and people forget that. You know, in 15, we were 0-2 uh, at the beginning. And so now you're playing catch-up just to get back in the ratings. A win tonight, not, not just getting a win, but also being a U-Pike team that was like 31st in the country helps us a great deal because they're coming off a great year, winning the East Division. Uh, they had a ratings, so now it gives us a little more notice in the ratings, which is important to get in that top 20 as, as soon as you can. So you're heading to the road, uh, hitting the road, heading to uh, West Point, Georgia next Saturday. It'll be the uh, the uh, Point Skyhawks. That'll be a first ever meeting for you two in football. Yeah, it'll be the first time, and you know they're in Georgia, but we actually play in Valley, Alabama. Uh, so we got a good trip ahead of us, and. Uh, you know, hopefully we can go down there and get a victory. Their team, uh, they went to the playoffs two years ago. Uh, very solid football team. They'll have tremendous athletes that you can find down in the Georgia, Florida, Alabama area. So we know that we have our work cut out for us. But, you know, I feel like we have a solid football team. Hopefully everybody will be healthy and we can go down there and give it a battle. Coach, when do you get back to work? Uh, actually, we'll probably, as soon as this film's up tonight, we'll, we'll start breaking it down tonight. So, you know, the work never ends during the season. Coach, enjoy it for a few minutes. Thank you. And Coach Perry Thomas, thank you, sir. Coach Perry Thomas and his Tigers winning tonight. Opening season win here at home against the Pikeville Bears, 28-14. to The Tigers move to 1-0. Pikeville falls to 0-1. Again, next week, Campbellsville down south against the Point Skyhawks. We'll send you the coverage right here along the Campbellsville University Sports Network. We leave